check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Goedemiddag mensen. Got me some double doubles today. We're still sitting at 11 mils. I'm very very happy with the cut right now as things are starting to fill in. Remember it took about four weeks for it to sort of close up and look quite good. That was where I did the single doubles. These are now double doubles. I don't know if you picked that up. Which is just mowing twice in the same direction up, twice in the same direction back down. So I just look for any stripes that may have been skew. Lucky I do mow relatively straight just by nature and because Frankenstein over here runs true but if I've missed anything then I just find that line and I go back in that part if it was already nice and straight then I mow down the center in case I missed anything down the center because there's always something if you're trying to get that stripe as wide as possible then you're trying to use the full width of that blade and if you go just a little bit to the one side then obviously you leave a little bit of a couple of you know hairies just popping up out of there like you haven't trimmed a bush but uh, yeah, just go back over it again if you feel that you need to do a bit of a tidy up. And that's that. Now, I was going to put down some fertilizer for the other part of today's video. Uh, along with some camisole aqua just as the wetting agent, like I said in the previous video. I need to get a wetting agent down. But it rained again and uh, I just left it alone. And during that video, I thought, man, the grass is looking a little bit pale again. I think I need to put that, some extra fur down, another top up of the Terra Plus Solube. But uh, now that I've mowed it, it looks perfectly fine. So I think it was just because everything was so overcast that it messed with my camera. And I have been noticing that my camera is messing around with sound these days, as well as the picture. Like every now and then, it just starts changing. Uh, it's bright, it's light, it's bright, it's light. It's doing it by itself. I don't know how to fix it. Too bad. <laughs> when I can get another camera, I will. Just look at this LM section. It's actually looking pretty horrible right now because we had a lot of wind lately and branches you can check there's a branch hanging there now as well branches leaves from both these trees that vit stunk coat has started messing leaves already hello autumn but all of this is quite messy and long and i've got mosquitoes now coming up which is not much fun so i might spray i might not i think i just need to give this a bit of a trim i wonder if i should do it now Ugh, i don't really want to no i think the rest looks too good let's give that a mo yeah. and for those of you who like to judge my edges me a break I still haven't replaced my weed eater need a sponsorship for that look at how long that is I think the seed heads are probably about 250 mils long and uh, well tall and some of that kakuyu that's right here in this corner here that's about oh man I guess about a hundred and the majority of the uh, lamb which is the majority of the area that's probably at about 60 or 70 at the moment but have a look at this for interest's sake this there's a little bit of LM. For those of you who have never seen what LM seed heads look like, it's a long stalk. It's very hard. It uh, doesn't always get cut when you try and trim it with the cylinder mower. It doesn't always chop this off, depending on how tall you were trying to cut, because it kind of like flops down like this, and it's also quite hard. So the front roller pushes this part down, or whatever part it hits first, and then it doesn't get to cutting this. So you often have these guys popping back up. But it almost looks like it's Paspalum, but you can tell it's kind of more like, it looks like a caterpillar almost. See that? So that's actually a limb seed. I do, oh, now it's out of focus. I do believe, let's try and change that. There we go. That a limb seed is also sterile. Well, at least on this, is, it's not, it's not going to grow you any more a limb babies. Okay, whatever. Let's mow this. Just as a matter of interest, you see there's like some yellowish discoloration happening there. That's a scalp, of course. But the scalp, that yellow, comes from 
the kakuyu that's in here, not the LM. The LM, when mowed just by itself, looks like this. Let me show you from the top. That's the LM from the top, boys and girls. It is fantastic stuff. If it's kept just a little bit taller, it wishes it was a baller. That was a lame joke. Anyway, there it is. The culprit of the yellow is Kikuyu. Now, of course, Bermuda does it as well, but I see that quickly with Kikuyu. Okay, again, I'll be nice to the Kikuyu. It's because Kikuyu grows so bloody fast, you can't keep up with it. You almost always need a plant growth regulator on it. That being said, I'm still wrong because I've got the Kikuyu taking over over here, keeping it at 11 mils, and I'm mowing it. This was mowed last. It's seven. Actually, this is day eight. It's eight days mow to mow that you now see that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad from the side either. Finish mowing all the way down here now too. Check that out. This is from where all that alum used to grow up deeper into this section. Obviously this tree goes out about seven meters into the yard. So it's about there-ish to the tippy tops of the tree. So a lot of the Kukuyu and Bermuda likes or can live in that area. The rest of it is actually growing in. It's more than after when I sculpted it was bald. But it's because the majority of it here was LM. So I sculpted out the LM and now this that's growing back in because I'm continuing to mow here is both Bermuda and Kukuyu. But yeah, the rest is not looking too bad. Bit of funny light, I keep sculpting areas. And then for those of you who really want to know, this is what this little hole area here looks like up close. They normally kind of dodge it, but might as well show you, hey? It's full of weeds. This is Alem that's creep crept in. It used to have a neat edge that went sort of, it followed that line over there. And then it, it didn't go around the tree. It kind of went like halfway through like this. And then it started again over here. So all of this used to be empty. And then it was just sand because it was a, another area that sand pit that I told you was all the way down the bottom of the yard. I'm just pull out some old pictures for you guys. There's a better, more realistic indication of the color at the moment. I can't figure out the light of this camera today. Anyway, so there it is there. This used to just be sand, and then I used to have a couple of shrubs and stuff in here, and then I just didn't like them because it looked weird when looking at it across the yard. I pulled them out and had a plan to get something done here and just never did it. Laugh, eh? All right, we'll can the video of that. I hear kids are home and screaming in the background already. I think the next vid, I'll probably put down some fruit. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet. Probably just a foliar feed because I'm just going to check. I can't remember the exact date when I put down the NMAX. I think it was six or seven weeks ago. With all the rain that we've been having, the chances are a lot of the nitrogen has leached, although that one doesn't leach so heavily. Ah, let me just go look at the dates. Anything after eight weeks, you can put down your next fertilizer application. Uh, I should, or the rest of you should put it down now. So early autumn, that is in the beginning of autumn, is when you do your autumn feed. It's a good idea to do it sooner rather than later because you don't want to be feeding too much close to winter uh, depending on your region. Um, yeah, so we might do that in the next two to three weeks. We'll put down another granular of my choice. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>